Hello YouTube, this Creative Duelist here, and I've been making decks creative since 2016. Welcome! Today, I'm going to be showing off my Mass Hero deck profile, explaining all my card choices. So let's get on with the deck profile, shall we? It's time to do 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 What's up everybody? This is Domingo the Shadow Mr. Strauss right here on the Creative Duelist's YouTube channel. And today I'm here to do a Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload as well as showing you guys my Mass Hero deck profile right here on the Creative Duelist's YouTube channel. Now before I start to break the deck profile, I just want to say, you know, a special shout out and thank you to the Creative Duelist for the Yu-Gi-Oh! For, for allowing me to do this Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload as well as showing off my Mass Hero deck profile right here on his channel. So shout out to you creative dudes. I want to say thank you for this opportunity. And yeah, so I'm here to show off my number one favorite deck, Mass Heroes. This is my this is my uh deck that I currently play in the tournament. So I'm gonna show off the main deck, the extra deck, and the side deck, as well as explaining all my card choices. So without further ado, let's review the deck profile. So here we go. We're gonna start off with the main deck. The main deck we're gonna do all monsters. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show off the heroes. We got three copies of Vision Hero Vion. This card is absolutely amazing. You know, it's a fullest burial for heroes, and it's also a rota for to, to search for a polarization when you banish a, a hero monster in your graveyard. And not to mention, this is a card that um, you can go for the first turn. Is old Nappies and Dark Law as well. So this card is amazing. You always got to play this card at three. So this three is a must. Next, I do play. Three copies of Destiny Hero Malicious. This card is absolutely amazing. There's so many plays that you can do with this. Not to mention you can send this card from deck to your grave with Vision Hero Vion to go for your, you know, your first turn Izzo. And there's a lot of plays you can do with this card. Especially fusion plays and um, link plays as well. Um, you don't want this card to be, you don't want to have this card in your hand, but, you know, most of the times, you know, it happened to me a couple times, but just in case, like, if I have Malicious in my hand, you know, I can just Polarization, Malicious from my hand, as well as another hero, go for Vision Hero Adoration, the Scar, or the Scar with Twin Twister, or I can discard it with the Nightmare, you know, Link Monsters as well, like Phoenix and Cerberus as well. So a lot of good plays, man. You always gotta play Malicious as three as well. Next, I do play uh, three copies of Elemental Hero Shadowmas. Shadowmas is the best, is um the heart and soul of this deck as well. This card, you know, he searches a uh, 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 searches a, a mass change. You know, basically a change. Cryptlex bar searches for your mass change, and also when he sent from to the graveyard, you can you know add a hero monster for your deck your hand as well. Really good searchable card, and you and, and also mention this card helps you to get to the first turn dark law. Next, I do play three copies of Elemental Hero Neo Alias. Now, the reason why I play Alias in this in Masters is because of the whole Gemini Spark engine. And I gotta say, when I first um, did the whole Gemini Spark engine um, and tested out and all this stuff, it really helped out Masters a lot. It really helped me out a lot throughout testing. And the Gemini Spark engine really helped Masters pretty well. Uh, not to mention, you could use this card for fusion plays and link plays as well. And, you know. And you know the Gemini Spark engine as well, so it's pretty good. I, I and not to mention his attack points is 19, which is decent. Next, I play two copies of Elemental Hero Honest Neils. Yes, uh, what, this one is an ultra rare. This one's a secret rare, just to let you guys know, because the little bit of difference. Um, but yes, uh, Honest Neils is the hero hand trap. You know, you know during your play turn, you know discard it, and then your hero monster gains 2,500 attack with the end phase. This is very good, especially uh, if you use this on your mass hero Dark Law. So that way, because Dark Law's attack points is 24, and if it gains 25, that's 40, 4,900 attack points. So that's pretty awesome as well. And Honest Neils is definitely one of the best um, heroes in this deck. Of course, the hero hand trap. And the last hero monster I play is the one elemental hero, Bubba Man. Um, Bubba Man, I play this card because there are a couple of times that I want to go for uh, elemental hero acid zero and mass hero acid as well. And that's why um, Bubba Man is, is in this deck. Uh, one Bubble Man is fine for me. Don't really need to play multiple copies. So those are the heroes. Um, as far as the non-heroes, I do play three copies of Goblin Murder. Um, Gamba Bird is really good, you know, and, you know, especially some of the, your, 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 your Shadow Mist from your hand, your Vision Hero Vion on your, on your hand as well, 
to get your play. Also, you can special summon an uh, attack gainer from your hand, so that way you can go for you know nap beats as well. Uh, sync, uh, link plays for this, and especially um, does a combo with this. You know, with go to the first turn is on all that stuff as well, as well as you know for nap beats and stuff. It's really good, and um, and also I know um, Elemental Hero Solid Man, now known as Solid Soldier, is about to be coming out um, on August 31st. On Friday, August 31st, in the 2018 Megaton of J. Yugi, and once I and once I get um, Solid Soldier, I'm definitely gonna take these Goblin Bird out, take out three copies of the four, three copies of Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, because Solid Soldier ha ha is a um, Goblin Bird for heroes, just to let you guys know, because it has the same effect, but you know, for heroes. Next, I do play one copy of Attack Gainer. Uh, he's the level one warrior attribute um, tutor monster for the nappies, you know, for the whole nappies turbo. And just in case if you don't have Attack Gainer, you can use um, Sheen Squire because they're both Earth attribute level one warrior attribute tutor monster. But in my opinion, um, Attack Gainer is kind of better in my opinion because it's more relevant. And his effect is also pretty good as well. Sometimes he can be handy. Uh, if you want to know the effect, if, if this card is sent to the graveyard as a, you know, when you use it for a single material, and to single summon a uh, single monster, you target one face up monster your opponent control, and it loses a thousand attack to the end phase. So it's pretty good. It can come out sometimes here, but I use this mostly for the nappies. Next, and the last monster I play is the one Black Cluster Soldier N4 at the beginning. This is a really good card. I love BOS so much. Um, not to mention this card could be searchable with Izzel, and since most of my um, monsters are light and dark, that's why I play you know the one copy BOS. And BOS come out of handy a lot too. All right, so those are the the monsters. Now we're gonna move on to the spells. I play three copies of Mass Chains, the standard card right here. It's a very good standard card, you know, for your Dark Laws and Acid as well. So def always gotta play um, Mass Chains at three. Uh, okay, next as far as the other next the fusion spells, I play two copies of Polarization, one copy of Miracle Fusion, and one copy of Instant Fusion. Um, these are the, the, the fusion spells, you know, polarizations, you know, I use it for like, you know, for the vision or adoration or absolute zero and stuff. Miracle fusion, I use it mostly for elements to heal the shiny and instant fusion. You know, I play one of this because, you know, for the Kamala warrior, because you know, the whole nappy's turbo, just in case you, um, if you don't have like a Kamala or, or even a um, sound soldier for that matter, you can use an uh, instant fusion for Kamala warrior because Kamala warrior is an earth attribute warrior, a monster fusion monster. They go for the whole Nappy's Turbo. Now, I know some hero players play like two or three instant fusion, but me, I only play one. And the reason why I play one instant fusion is because of the whole life points, because I don't want to pay too much life point. And not to mention, I play um, a hero lives as well. And speaking of a hero lives, I do play three copies of these. Um, they're okay at three. You know, of course, you know, you just pay half your life points and stuff, especially on level four, lower hero monster. You know, I use it mostly, you're going to use this for the summon elemental hero Shadow Mist and go for your first turn Dark Law as well. Um, the only problem is, is that your opponent might Ash Blossom a Hero Live, so, and you know, you gotta pay half your life points and stuff, and all that stuff, um, but other than that, it, you, always, you always gotta play multiple copies of Hero Lives, you know, but Hero Lives is still good, just hope you don't get Ash Blossom. Uh, next cards, I, next I play two copies of E Emergency Call, and one copy of Reinforcement of the Army, E Call less uh, Elemental Hero, um, monster for your deck in your hand. Rhoda as a level 4 lower warrior monster. So Econ, you know, you can add your Honest Needles and stuff like that as well. Shadow Mist. And Rhoda, and Rhoda you know, you can add your, your you know, for your Vision Hero Volume, the Gamma Burst, well, as well as Solid Man and Solid Soldier as well. So it's pretty good. Next, I play uh, three copies of Call by the Grave. This card is absolutely amazing as well. I really love Call by the Grave. You know, it's really amazing. This is a card that can actually stop your opponent's hand traps. This card, like, say, no to Ghost Ogre, no to um, Ash Blossom, no to Ghost Bell, no to Ghost Reaper, no to Drill Lockbird, or any other uh, monster that activates from the graveyard. You know, you banish it, and then they can't even use that as well, the effects as well, and all that stuff. It's really amazing. You always got to play three copies to Call by the Grave. And next, I play two copies of Twin Twisters, um, you know, just for the back row, just for the back row removal, you know, and... You know, I just got a discard card to just target two cards, uh, up to two cards, and then destroy them. Uh, if I have, like, a Shadow Mist in my hand, you know, discard with Twin Switch, you get that fact. If I have Death Center Hill Malicious in my hand, I can just discard and then, you know, and go off from there as well. And as far and the rest of the one ups, I play one Moomir Shield, one Gemini Spark, one Raganki, and one Monster Reborn to round out the spells. Uh, Moomir Shield is amazing, you know, it's a very good quiz, one of my favorites. Um, 
if you have Moomin Shield in your hand, you know, you just equip it to a monster and then when it's set for the video, you, you know, you can pay 500 return to the top of the bottle. And that way you can still do um, the whole um, combo with Izzo 2 Tails of the number 9 as well. Um, Gemini Spark, you know, because like I said, the whole Gemini Spark engine is absolutely amazing. Because I do, that's why I play three copies of Neo Alias. Because the Gemini Spark engine really helped out this deck a lot. Regenki, you know, for the extra boy wise and Monster Boy, you know, just for the, you know, for the plus, especially in the Monster Graveyard, is amazing. That's it for the spells. As far as the traps, I only play three traps, and the three traps I play is three copies of Mirror Force, you know, for the extra board wipes. I know some I know some Master of don't play traps at all, but me, I only play Mirror Forces. Uh, that's it for the main deck. Now we're going to move on to the extra deck. Uh, I'm going to show off the Mass Heroes, two copies of Master of Dark Law, and one copy of Acid. Um, Dark Law, you know, is a uh, macro cosmo on Lex, but only works on your opponent. And, the, and, and of course, there's other effect, like if your opponent has a card from the deck in your hand, you know, the searching, you know, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand if they um, do the searching. And Acid is pretty good as well, you know. That's why I play, you know, Bubble Man, if you know, for the Acid as well, Absolute Zero. And there was a combo with, you know, Absolute Zero and Acid. Acid is a, um, macro, uh, is a Harvey's Feather Duster on legs, you know, blow away your opponent's back row when it's special summon, you know, with match changes and stuff. And, you know, there's a combo with Absolute Zero as well, so it's pretty good. Next, I do play, as far as the, um, uh, the other heroes, I do play, uh, one Elemental Hero is Absolute Zero, one Elemental Hero the Shiny, and one Vision Hero Adoration. Uh, Absolute Zero, you know, it's a right ganking on legs, you know, basically when it leaves the field, destroy all monster opponent control, and not to mention the combo with Absolute Zero and Asic, you know, so that way you can get both Absolute Zero and Asic's effect to blow up all the cards on your opponent's side of the field. The Shiny is there, for, you know, I play Shiny just there for options. Um, he, he helps sometimes, you know, there comes a the time to help him out, you know, and I always like Miracle Fusion, so go to the Shiny, because you can get Shiny's effect, you know, he gains 300 for each, um, banished elements of hero monsters, and then when he leaves, set from the field of the graveyard, you can, like, target two elements of hero monsters that were banished out of your hand, so, so that's pretty good as well, and Vision Hero Adoration is a, a very good fusion card, you know, one of my favorites, um, it requires two heroes, so, so you can use any other heroes, you know, Search for, you know, use for polarization. And, you know, his effect is all pretty good as well, you know, as well sometimes. So, it's very good cards. And the last, and the last fusion monster I play is the one Karloma Warrior. Um, the instant fusion target, you know, for the Nappy's Turbo. You use this for, um, Naturia Beast because he's an Earth Attribute, um, level 4 two, uh, Warrior fusion monster with this and Attack Gainer. Or you can use it for Link Place as well. You can use this for Link Summon for Izzo as well. So that's pretty good. That's it for the fusion. As far as the Synchros, I only play the one and only Naturia Beast. The Turbo Beast is pretty good, you know, um, you know, because I do play um, the Attack Gainer because he's an Earth Attribute Level 1 Tuner, as well as, you know, the Goblin Bird, and, and also, or the Column of Warrior, or even um, Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, for that matter, as well. And, you know, he, this card is really amazing, you know, it just negate and destroys uh, a spell card that is activated, you know, by sending the top two cards from your deck to the graveyard, and you can do that m multiple times, so that's pretty good as well, you know, whenever, you know... You, a spell card is activated especially you you want to you always got to negate your opponent's spells and destroy them with nap beast that's it for the sequel and now as far as links i do play one deco talker one proxy dragon one boar guard dragon because i don't have boar lord dragon boar lord dragon is kind of expensive though and hard to get so that's why i play on um, boar guard dragon boar guard dragon is pretty good too because uh, one of his effects is he cannot be destroyed by card effects um one nightmare uh um service one nightmare fetus the, the nightmare package you know this um service you know you know, you when it's linked, some you discard a card from your hand and to to target a special summoning monster and your opponent's side and destroy it. Phoenix, you know, um, you know when it links summon, you target one card. I mean, you discard a card and then you can target a, a spell trap card and destroy it. And also when they're and also um, when Phoenix gets cold link, when the, when it's cold link, so like other link when it's cold link, you know monsters that are cold link cannot be uh, destroyed by battle. And service effect uh, when the, when the link monsters are cold link. Uh, the monsters that are quality cannot be destroyed by card effects. And last but not, and the last link monsters I play is two copies of Izzo Two Tails of the Number Nine. Um, this card is absolutely amazing. I love Izzo. Always got. I, I feel like two is better in my opinion because one's not good enough. So I think two is better. Is the perfect number. Uh, this card, you know, you search for any warrior when it's linked summon, so she can search any warrior monster. You know, you like. 
your vision here of iron, your your gamma burst, um, your your um, honest Neils, your your BLS, you know, any warrior. So this card is amazing. And the second effect says, um, you can send any number of uh, cut spells from death to the graveyard to target uh to special summon one warrior monster from your deck, you know, equal to the number of equip you sent to the graveyard by this effect. Like for example, if you send one equip spell, that means you have to um, special summon one level one uh warrior monster from your deck, like attack gainer, for example. So yes. So and and not to mention Izzo really helped out a lot, especially if you want to go for the nap first turn Izzo, Nappies, and Dark Law. And those are the links, and that's it for the extra deck. I'm gonna show off my side deck. Two copies of Ghost Ogre's uh, Snow Rivers and two copies of Effect Failure. These are the hand traps. It's pretty good. Next, I side deck two copies of Zephy on the Time Lord. Um, this card really, really, it's a really good card. You know, I really helped out a lot. You know, especially since, you know, he cannot be destroyed uh, by Battle of a Card Effects. And also, it, if it battles, you know, it can return all spells and track cards from your opponents and if you return know, to shuffle them to the deck. And. If it sends from the field to the graveyard, you know you draw one card, so it's pretty good. All right. As far as um, let's see, let's see, I play the one dark hole for the extra boar wipes. That's the only spell I side deck. Uh, as far as the traps, two copies of Solemn strikes, pretty good. Um, three copies of Bonus trap hole and three copies of anti spell framing to round up the side deck. Um, these cards are pretty amazing. It's good against like it's good against Sky Strikers. It's good against um, Trick Stars. It's good against um, Gokies. It's good against Pendulum Magicians. It's, you know, basically any deck. It's, and Anton Spell Fragment, I have to say, you know, it, it does shut down. You know, your Sky shut down Sky Strikers and Pendulum Day. It doesn't really hurt Mass Heroes that much because I know some of the spell cards in Mass Heroes has are quick play spells, and you always gotta set them. Like your Mass Change, your Call by the Grave, your Twin Twisters, because they set down like traps, of course. So that's why, you know, and three of these really helped out a lot. So it's pretty good. Same thing with Bonds, Trap Hole at three, and, on, and the two Song Strikes helped out as well. And that's it for the side deck. And that's that's it for the side deck. I hope you guys enjoy my um, Mass Hero deck profile. So don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. Post your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload, as well as my Mass Hero deck profile. And, you know, special shout out and thank you once again to the creator dealers for, for the guest upload, allowing me to do my master that on his channel. And also, guys, if you want to check out my channel, the Domingo, the Shadow Mr. Strauss channel, I also I do Yu-Gi-Oh! segment. And I also do some non-Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff like reaction videos and video games and some other stuff to come and other things as well. And that's it for this video, guys. So this is Domingo, the Shadow Mr. Strauss. All I can say is peace out and have a good day. Goodbye, everyone, and stay creative. Yeah!